Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's a Thursday afternoon and it's time for your tropical update. Still not a lot of changes for the tropical Atlantic. Still no systems that we're tracking, but we do have a pretty major update from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They've updated their outlook for the remainder of this hurricane season and I've got the latest numbers for you. So stay tuned for that. Let's start off with that. So we're going to talk about it back on May 25th. I believe they came out with their first update, still predicting a near average season at that point. But now they're thinking that with that super warm water out in the Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, some buoys out there indicating water temperatures in the low 90s, they're thinking that this could be an above average super active remainder of the hurricane season. So this is the latest update, which is today, August 10th from NOAA and they are saying there's a 60% shot for an above normal season, 25% chance for a near normal season and a 15% shot for a below normal season. So as you can clearly see, there's a huge piece of that pie showing an above normal season. They've also increased the number of storms Hurricanes and major hurricanes expect that 14 to 21 named storms now, 6 to 11 hurricanes, and 2 to 5 major hurricanes. So you may be thinking, why are they doing that? We haven't seen anything around here. It's been super quiet, but we are in that most active period now, which is usually August and September. We've had that big heat dome in place, but as the pattern could potentially start to break down over the next month or so with that very warm water out there, anything that would develop would likely blow up quickly because that water acts as fuel for these systems to form. So fortunately, nothing showing up across the Atlantic right now. Just a couple of waves they are not impressive at all. We're not really thinking that these are going to develop into anything tropical. So that is good news. Also, things remain pretty quiet for the Caribbean, for the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a couple areas of showers and storms, a little disturbed weather near Puerto Rico and Jamaica, but it's not expected to develop into any sort of tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. We've got that big heat dome in place over us for Southeast Texas, so that will block any potential development now. But of course, we are getting further into August and we've still got the most active month historically to get through and that's September, so we'll be watching it closely. But at this point, National Hurricane Center going with no tropical cyclone formation expected during the next seven days. I also have the Saharan dust on here. You can see that we can still have quite a bit of dust out in the Atlantic, so that will hinder any systems, at least for the next week or so. But once that dust starts to disperse and kind of go away, that warm water will be there for these future systems to tap into. Quick look at the Pacific shows multiple systems lined up. These are potential systems. These are disturbances, basically. We've got one right off of the southwestern Mexican coast with a 50% shot for development, one with an 80% chance for development west of that one, and then west of that one in the central Pacific, a 20% chance for development. So we could have multiple depressions, storms, or hurricanes in the Pacific over the next week or so. We'll be monitoring those closely. Also, way out in the Pacific, now well to the south and west of Hawaii, we still have Hurricane Dora, which played a part in those massive catastrophic wildfires that just inundated big chunks of Maui. And folks in Hawaii are still trying to recover and just really just come to terms with what happened. It happened so fast that wind really picked up with Dora passing to the south, high pressure to the north of the Hawaiian Islands, and that created a tight pressure gradient with that wind picking up. And there were 60 mile per hour gusts over Maui during the time those wildfires started. That's why they were able to spread quickly and they already had pretty dry conditions in place anyway. So it wasn't a direct impact or a direct hit from Dora, but Dora did play a part in those massive Hawaiian wildfires. Fortunately, Dora is moving further and further away from Hawaii, still though a pretty strong hurricane. 120 mile per hour winds would make it a category three movement to the west northwest at 20 miles per hour and pressure at 961 millibars. It still maintains its category three major hurricane status through Friday afternoon, finally starts to weaken a little bit over the weekend and then it kind of collapses by Tuesday down to 35 miles per hour. So finally we will be able to say that Dora is just about gone early next week. I want to give you a quick look at that Saharan dust for the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and notice there 
there's not much at all. So it's already starting to clear out of the Caribbean and the Gulf, but still a decent amount of dust for the Atlantic. So that continues to hinder the formation of these waves, these tropical waves that are trying to come off the west coast of Africa. But with all of this warm water out there in the 80s and 90s, it's not going to take much for these systems to develop as we go into the next month and as that dust starts to go away. Very warm water as well for the Caribbean and for the Gulf of Mexico temps close to 90 at this point. So we've got a lot of fuel for these future systems. So we are expecting that more of the names on this list will get used as we go through the remainder of hurricane season. We've already been through Arlene, Brett, Cindy, and Don. We had that unnamed subtropical storm in January. So the next name on the list would be Emily, and then we'd have Franklin, Gert, and Harold, and then several after that if they are needed. Hopefully they're not, but they are there just in case because things could ramp up and get active quickly. So we are in August. We're getting closer to the middle of August, but notice we're nearing that peak of our hurricane season, late August, early to mid September, even late September into October, still a decent chance for tropical activity. Then as we get into November, of course, the chances really start to go down really after the first half of October, chances really go down for Southeast Texas, but we've got to get there first. So keep checking back with us. If we see any Thing developing. Of course, you'll be the first to know and we'll let you know exactly what's going on. We'll be tracking it closely. Also, another great thing to do, grab the Fox 26 weather app for your phone so you'll know exactly what's going on wherever you are across town. Tropical weather updates, forecast cones, our follow me feature, and of course, all the latest hurricane watches and warnings, if and when they are needed, you will find on our Fox 26 weather app. And of course, your local weather. We all know it's hot, but we've got the heat alerts. We got the fire danger. We got the rip current risk. So you can get all of those alerts. Just download the app, turn the alerts on, and they will be right at your fingertips. That's all I have for you for today. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade.